be here live on the red carpet speaking with the one and only it's Erica Hovland and I played the role of Bridget. Now Miss Bridget is the CEO I understand of this big dodgy firm if I may say That's right. and you are the one with the moral aptitude to say no I do not agree with what we're doing here so tell us how that plays out in the film. Well it, uh, there's a lot of people that don't agree with my decision to make that call and I end up getting kidnapped because of that and then things happen and I don't want to give away too much of the movie but um, Bridget stands up for the moral compass of we're not meant to play God. So. And how do you feel about that as that pertains to your own life? Do you agree with that? You know it's, it's that gray area, it's a slippery slope because you want to help the people that actually would benefit from that but in reality in life there's so many people that are able to just buy their way and get first in line just because they want a pretty body or you know instead of a health crisis. The rich right you're talking? Rich. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So it's hard because once you start playing God then where does it end? Exactly and we were not put on our, this planet to do that were we really? There is one God <laughs> in my mind. In my face. That is so true. And can you just tell us about this process and what was a particular highlight that you really enjoyed filming this movie? Harley's team is just fantastic to work with. They're very, very capable filmmakers. So it's just the team that they, they build. Um, they have a machine. And once you become part of that machine, you, you just get inspired. And he's such a driven human being that... You know, I'd work with him over and over again. It's so good when that is the case, isn't it? Because it can often be not that way. It can. <laughs> it can. And it has before. But <laughs> and so as an actress, what is your all-time ultimate role or goal for you in this industry? Well, honestly, I got to fulfill one of my all-time dream roles this summer. I got cast to play Prospero in The Tempest. So the female version... Lesbian, huh? Yeah, yes, I love Shakespeare. But to, the, the opportunity to take on a role like Prospero from a mother's perspective instead of a father's perspective was magical. And where did that play out? Where was that performed? It was Shakespeare in the Park in Michigan. Right now my home base is Michigan. We go back and forth. Yeah. That's yeah. Okay, this whole cast and crew comes from that area, it we seems do. to be. <laughs> we do. Well, I'm Canadian, though. Like, I actually, I'm kind of all over the world, but... Love it. And I'm a Kiwi, so let's just all just hang out. That's right. <laughs> Commonwealth. Yeah.